Hello everyone, I'm back again with uh, another tutorial on SEL, Laravel and Vue.js. So though you are watching the full stack Laravel Vue.js application development tutorial series and we're going to have a lot of cool features. Uh, this uh, rule management was not included in the feature list but uh, based on the request I have added them I'm trying to do as uh, cool as possible, okay? So yeah, in previous video I showed you how you can change the permission uh, here reactively uh, instantly, okay? So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to control this permission uh, when you access it, okay? So one theory is that you need to understand which is like whatever the use, uh, whatever the uh, page you are accessing here, let's say this is the page, this is the page, okay? So what I will be doing is that you have to do a refresh, okay? So let's say you are trying to access something directly, okay? Or maybe you are just, uh, you are passing an URL like this and trying to access. So whatever you do, no matter uh, what the URL is, you are hitting, it will always uh, end up in this method, okay? So that means we can control uh, whether you are allowed to go ahead and see or not, okay? So you see, uh, uh, this one is returning to login, this one also returns to login, this one returns to login, and this one also returns to uh, yeah, if you are already logged in, uh, this returns to you the uh, the home page. Okay, so it returns to you the home page if you are not uh, if you are already logged in, and that's okay. Now, before we return uh, to the login page, we should do something. Uh, we should get the uh, permission for that users. Okay, so let's go ahead and <coughs> get the permission for that user. Right. And if you guys have not subscribed yet, go ahead and do this and also join our uh, Facebook group development with EpiPilot to get more help. Okay, now let's go ahead and try something really nice here. Um, what we can do is uh, we can Okay, so maybe we can return a 404 page. Let's return something. Return redirect. I don't know if we have a 404 page. 404. So if we try to access, we should get a 404. Uh, for to redirect you too many times, so. Okay, I'm going back. So why this shows you up here? Let me go ahead. Okay, it's not returning something. Okay, here we go. So we have to control that. So first of all, before even checking, let's say we are trying to access this tag page by a refresh. So what we are going to do is we are going to uh, just return something. Okay, I'll just return something instead of returning the blade file. Welcome blade file, we'll do it out. Um, syntax error. So we have an error with the syntax. Let's check, okay, so it's returning something. So what we can do is uh, instead of returning, I, I don't know why the 404 is giving me an error. So what I can do is I can have a new blade file and I can have a new customized uh, 404 message page and then I can actually return them, uh, return the user to there, okay? Or load, on, uh, instead of loading welcome dot, uh, welcome dot blade file, what I can do is I can load, uh, okay, let's go ahead and just do it uh, in the code instead of just talking. Um, let's go ahead and in the resources views we have welcome.blade we can say not found dot blade dot php okay and here we can say an html page we can say uh, where is the doc time never mind I don't find it from here just take copy this code and page is not found 
you can write anything and you can just remove uh, okay you can keep the csrf 2k and you can remove this f <coughs> <coughs> you can remove this uh, view just fine and you can do your own design style the page you are looking for is not found i don't know what message you will prefer but let's do it so we can say okay we can return them uh, view and not found okay we can return to not found page so let's see what we get okay so this is the page if we go to the text page and we can simply return into the text page okay so that's perfect and it's working so what we can do is so here we are passing uh, the item so what we can do is we can call uh, we can return and then we can call it okay Ch check for permission we can call a method and we can just execute that check for the method uh, of permission okay so that's um, that's nice we, we already have the user so instead of calling again auth user we can just simply pass that user okay uh, I'm really sorry I have to call it using this so let's go ahead and do public function check for permission and we will return the blade okay so we are returning from here and we will return the blade whether any of this blade we want or right. when you do theming we will do more logic here but that's okay for now so what we have to do is we can get the permission for this user okay so let's say what is your permission okay your permission is uh, we can say okay your permission is user dot rule dot and we can say permission I don't know if the spelling is correct here at the moment uh, let's go to the rule and just copy that and we can simply return for now to see what we get so let's see we should get an object so it's currently returning as uh, decoded maybe right now okay let's see if we can access the name permission uh, we have to access this zero item okay let's mm, let's do echo permission zero let's see if we can access it okay we were not able to access it okay because it's string uh these uh, all these permission are stringified so we have to decode this just on decode and then we can actually echo the permission of the zero index okay uh, object of class that could not be converted to string maybe we can access name yeah here you go we, we were able to access the name text okay so you see we have the text here and we have the uh, name here and we can also echo uh, one more thing here echo um, we don't have access to the request variable so what we have to do is uh, maybe we can access URL dot path I remember there is some method like this uh, maybe it's like this but does not exist mm, URL generator path okay then uh, we did it in admin check so it works like oh no we have to do it using the request okay never mind so we can pass the request variable here as well um, let's take this request here we can have a constructor but we don't we are, we're not going to do that constructors just because of this simple task 
request.path you see task start so yeah here we go now what we have to do is we have to do something uh, we have to look and then one th important thing you have to understand is that uh, you have to understand the mm, give me a second uh, okay we cannot return like this we have to return simple plane so I just need to show you from here okay what is the problem oh, okay we have a problem here and why it should, it should not work it should work either way okay here okay see you we are accessing text okay now it's actually not possible to access write update or delete if you do not have the read access in the first place so for the page views whether you can access the page or not it's totally depend on the read okay so if we if you have the read permission then you can uh, see this page otherwise you should not be able to access this page right that does that make sense yeah I hope so so you have to have the read permission first okay so let's go ahead and check the read permission if we have the read permission for that particular page so what we will look uh, look through okay so we can say uh, from or we can say for here for each we can look through this array permission as p and we can see uh, we can take a boolean here as permission and you can say as permission to false and I can say okay first of all we need to check if permission name is equal equal the request name or I mean uh, we are checking okay if the name and the URL tag is the same one okay because we need to check the read permission of the correct resources so we have to find okay if uh, if we are accessing the text so from here we will find okay where is the tag resource okay this is the tag resource okay so now we will check okay if we have the read permission or not okay so what we will go to uh, where we will go is that um, if we have the read permission uh, we will check okay if uh, if we have per okay so it's not like that sorry for that it should be just p dot name and p dot name uh, this p variable uh, those who do not know how push loops work those p the single p will ex uh, have all all uh, a single object data okay so you can access p dot resource name it will be text p dot read it will be true p dot name it will be text so i'm accessing p dot name it will be request uh, <coughs> a text and request part also text so it matches now we will check if p has um, read or not so if we have a read permission if we have this read permission we will see, say okay nice you have the permission and permission is true so by default I may have made the permission false then made the permission equal true okay now here based on what permission you have okay I can say okay if you have the permission then return uh, this view okay simple otherwise simply return this okay does it make sense I hope so okay so that's really interesting right now and we can you see we are returning just calling from here and this call is returning a blade so it will return some blade file now we, sh we should be able to see the page okay now if we come assign rule and for the tag so it doesn't matter uh, it doesn't make sense to have read update and delete if we do not have the read permission in plus in the first place so what I have done is I have done the I have removed the text permission so if I try to access the truck but take permission I will see this page the page you are looking for is not found so that means you don't have the permission okay uh, we can um, change the not found 
we can change the method more like nicely like that you don't have uh, enough permission to access this page okay let's see if we have if we have something yeah we have this class here we can write last text text align center that should be enough okay that's nice and what we can do is since we have um, some HTML design here I think we can have a division here to make it a little better or yeah I can take the login page maybe full login page and I think let's see we don't need any of these things and we just need this one and we don't need to have going this before let's check out what we see okay so it's a little bit much better you don't have enough permission to access this page right so it's super cool so so you can easily control which page we can see or which page we don't okay i think we have a problem no we can assign the rule uh, okay so it's okay we can access this page using the routers we can control it using uh, before this but we will uh, actually limit this uh, menu in the next video okay uh, I don't know how much minute I have already uh, made this video now we could easily uh, we can easily uh, make the menu dynamic but it's a little bit complex as well so I will make the menu dynamic in the next video okay so if you don't have the read permission you will not see the text um, uh, tab at all okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this video in the next video I'll make the menu dynamic and then uh, you will be able to see um, uh, more controlling things in the coming videos okay I hope in next uh, one two videos we will be uh, done here and then we can add the blog and then we can go to the front end so we are very much close to end of this uh, series thank you guys uh, for supporting uh, so far have a nice time